What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here today continuing with the Madden 17 roster reveal series where we're going to accomplish one of two things. Either one, you're going to be able to get a quick look, uh, early look that is, at what the Madden 17 rosters will probably look like. I think these are going to be pretty dead on. But also, uh, number two is if you don't want to make the transition to Madden 17, you just download these community rosters that I'm making and continue playing Madden 16 with the Madden 17 roster. So with that being said, I'm looking for feedback in the comment section below if I should adjust or tweak any of the overalls. I'll, I'll take that under consideration. But without further ado, today we're looking at the Minnesota Vikings, the NFC North Division Champion. Uh, so jumping ahead at the quarterback position, we gave Teddy Bridgewater an 85 overall last year as a start. He went 11-5 with 3,200 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Uh, he also added 3 more touchdowns and 200 yards on the ground. I mean, so overall, statistically, not mind-blowing. Uh, I mean, that is Adrian Peterson's team and offense, first and foremost, and everything else is slowly coming to, into place. I don't mean they had the emergence of Stephon Diggs, but I mean, overall, the offensive weapons uh, Teddy Bridgewater has outside of Adrian Peterson is somewhat limited. Uh, they had a couple overrated guys there, I think. But uh, the 85 is there more or less because he's a very young talent and still was able to lead this team to an 11-5 and record. Uh, maybe a little too high, but I think 85 is just... Uh, moving to the running back position, then you got my boy AP. We gave him the 98. I wanted to give him the 99, but, uh, I mean, the fumbles and stuff like that were still a persistent issue. But at 30, man, he doesn't look any bit like he's going to start slowing down. 98 is still, I mean, that's like one one point away from being perfect in regards to Madden. Uh, almost had 1,500 yards last year, 11 touchdowns, as well as 200 yards through the air. I mean, in my opinion, pound for pound, AP is one of the greatest running backs of all time. He'd make my top 10 all-time great running backs list, no doubt about it. Uh, we also gave McKinnon a 77, as the odd a 75. Uh, they got Zach Lyon, the fullback, 75. Now look at the wide receiver position. We gave Stefan Diggs, I don't know how many times, I sound like a broken record. I don't know how many times I need to say it. I called him to be a stud last year as a late-round sleeper. He came out, started nine games, and had 52 receptions, 720 yards, and four touchdowns. I mean, now he's instantly Minnesota Vikings' top wide receiver target. Uh, they also have Charles Johnson, who we gave a 78. Uh, last year, Charles Johnson, he what he you know had a bad injury. He only ended up starting in four games. But I, I actually really like what I saw when he was playing and in 2014. Uh, then they obviously they went after Laquan Treadwell out of Ole Miss. Uh, a lot of people regarded him as the top wide receiver in this year's draft class. So that is another weapon for Teddy Bridgewater to have on the outside. Jarius Wright's no slouch either. He's a solid wide receiver. Uh, 400 yards last year. Corderell Patterson maybe becomes something more than a special teamer. And look at this. Just for you guys, I put Morris Bowringer, the player that they got from the German Football League. I don't know, GFL, I have no idea what it's called. I said I was going to create him because, I mean, statistically speaking, he's kind of a fun player and will definitely be a low-key sleeper for the upcoming Madden game to use and play with. At the tight end position, we have Kyle Rudolph in 84 overall. Uh, last year, Kyle Rudolph started in all 16 games, had 500 yards, uh, 50 receptions, 500 yards, and 5 touchdowns. So, I mean, 5 by five, 5s across the board. 84 overall, I think he can continue to develop. He had a bad injury in 2014. I, I do recall 2013, he was a Pro Bowl. It wasn't like the Pro Bowl MVP. He had a really good year there. Uh, so I think he will bounce back to form. Uh, quickly on the offensive line, we have Matt Khalil, a 75. You know, kind of still on his way back. Um, you know, 2013, he was a beast. 2014, he sucked. 2015, he's, he's starting to get together. Uh, so we'll see what happens when he can put together for the 2016 season. Uh, Alex Boone coming over for the San Francisco 49ers. We gave him an 89 overall. Center Joe Berger, we gave him a 92. I mean, they are just they are just spoiled at the center position. I mean, John Sullivan, 87. I'm surprised they don't try to swing one of those guys to the guard. Uh, they got Mike Harris. We gave him an 80. And at right tackle, Phil Lodeheld, 85. So, I mean, overall, the Vikings have one of the strongest uh, offensive lines in the NFL. Look at the defensive side of the ball. Brian Robinson, we gave him an 86. Uh, last year, Mr. Brian Robinson, you did... Uh, wasn't he hurt? Did he get hurt? No, I guess he wasn't. 16 starts last year. Uh, he had one forced fumble, five sacks, and 35 tackles. Um, so, I mean, that's, you know, pretty middle-of-the-road stats. Uh, then at right defensive end, we have Everson Griffin, who we gave a 91 overall. Last year, Griffin had 10.5 sacks, uh, 45 tackles, and one forced fumble in 15 starts. So, I mean, again, one of the better uh, quarterback pe pressurers, I guess. If you can, that's kind of awkward way to say it. But one of the best guys at getting after the quarterback. There you go, that's a little bit more natural in the NFL, and the NFC especially. Uh, looking at defensive tackle, we gave Linval Joseph a 92, uh, or 91, sorry. Maybe could be a little bit higher. I know he's one of the best nose tackles in the NFL. Only got half a sack, but 55 tackles, I believe, in 12 starts. Um, 
you know what I mean? The production that was there, especially for not even playing a full 16 games. So that's why we gave him the 91. It could be a little bit higher, but I think the 91 is fair without getting, you know, a little too ahead of ourselves. And then you also got Sheriff Floyd, who we gave an 88. Big fan of him at the University of Florida. Two and a half sacks, uh, just shy of 30 tackles last year in 12 starts. I mean, they have a phenomenal, phenomenal rotation there on the defensive line. They also got Tom Johnson, 78. Kendrick Ellis, 75. I look at outside linebacker. We give Anthony Barr in 89 overall. Last year in 14 starts, he had one interception, seven pass deflections, three forced fumbles, three and a half sacks, and almost 70 tackles. So, I mean, absolute monster season for a bright young player. One of the best young linebackers in the NFL. Look at the middle linebacker. We have Eric Kendricks, a 76 overall. Uh, he was surprisingly the leading tackler uh, of the... Um, of the Minnesota Vikings last year. And 11 games started, he had four sacks and 92 tackles. So actually probably, we'll, we'll bump that a little bit. We'll actually bump that a little bit on the fly here. Just because I, I think we, we she should definitely edge up into the 80 territory. Um, you know, he's as good of a tackler from a pure tackling standpoint as anyone else in the NFL. We'll bump that awareness up to an 80. He's been starting. Uh, tackling, now nah, 88 tackling's good. Play rec, we'll bump his play rec up. He's starting, pursue a little bit. Oh, keep it at that. Whatever that was. I think that was just around an 80. There you go. Um, now, moving on to the right outside linebacker, Chad Greenway, who we gave an 80 overall. 12 starts last year, one interception. Uh, he also had a uh, two and a half sacks and just shy of 70 total tackles. So, 80 overall, I think is pretty fair. Uh, in the quarterback situation, we gave Xavier Rhodes an 82 overall. Uh, 16 starts last year. Only had the one interception, 11 pass deflections, and uh, 57 tackles. Uh, maybe could be a little bit higher. Maybe could be up in the 85 range, and I wouldn't be against that. I think he's a great talent, but I mean, just a little bit of a hit uh, because of the interceptions. He wasn't as much of a turnover machine, but I think that could be an 85 very well. Let me know if you guys think I should bump that up a little bit. Uh, Captain Marlin, we gave him a 79. Uh, he started only started five games. Usually is their uh, nickel corner. Still got two interceptions, which wasn't bad, and uh, one sack even in 55 tackles, so he's very solid. Again, maybe I maybe I low key underrated everyone. I mean, Wayne 74, he was kind of a bust, didn't look that great. But uh, and then you got Mackenzie Alexander, the second round pick, who we gave a 76. But maybe I could bump both Munnerlin and Rhodes. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, look at the free safety position. We gave Harrison Smith a 95 overall, one of my favorite safeties in the NFL. 13 starts last year, two interceptions. We got three pass deflections, one forced fumble, a sack and a half, and just shy of 60. Five tackles, so I mean, 95. He's one of the best in the game. They also got Michael Griffin coming over from the Tennessee Titans, 79. And at strong safety, Andrew Sendejao, who uh, had started in 13 games, one interception, three pass deflections, and uh, 50, 60, just over 75 tackles. So not a bad player at all. So the 80s were fair. Blair Walsh, even though he missed that you know kick in that absolute shit show of a game against the Seattle Seahawks in the playoffs, still an 84, one of the better kickers in the NFL. And Locke, the punter, we gave him a 68. So yeah, guys, those are your Madden 17 ratings for the Minnesota Vikings. As always, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll make adjustments if need be. Uh, 40 likes on this video, and we'll upload the next one immediately. If you're new to the channel and you like this content, please subscribe. We're looking for 15,000 subs by the time Madden 17 comes out. And that'll do it for me here today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, it's your boy C4, saying peace out.